Okay, so this is uh, my rocket ship control panel I did uh, as an instructable here. I actually did this for a maker fair we had at work. Uh, pretty ambitious project, took me part of a year, most of a year to put it together part time. Uh, I'll just go through each panel and show them what the features are and you know, what it does and what it doesn't do. Uh, they called out in the instructable, the panels themselves, uh, they're laser cut MDF. Uh, I drew the panel in Corel Draw. The, the, the visual here, and then I draw another layer it, um, inside of Corel Draw. This is going to actually be the cuts for the holes. And I use a CO2 laser cutter to cut the panel in MDF, and then I print out the panel and I glue it on. And it's also got, it's just not the printer paper, it's also got a protective clear on it as well. Uh, it took a long time to figure out the process, but uh, we finally worked it out. Uh, just kind of run through each panel. There's one Pi and two Arduinos in here. Uh, three Arduinos, actually, and uh, we'll go through each one. Well, actually, uh, and again, these don't, I, I saw ideas on the web, things I liked. Actually, some of these are from advertisements, and when I saw them, I said, hey, that would look good, and I, I just turned it into a panel. Uh, up in the corner of the first one, I, I don't know where I saw this in a GIF or something. Uh, there's actually an Arduino behind here driving these lights off and on. Um, these are just red LEDs. This one doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, this guy here, this was actually a flow chart on to determine if a piece of clothing or closet should be given to the Goodwill washed or put back. Um, I found a, the, the wording wouldn't fit on there, so I actually found a different font and, uh, and, and just drew it out. I found a font, font somewhere off of Pinterest and I just used that. This one doesn't do anything, it's just original, it just lights up, you turn the lights off and on. Again, I, at one time I was going to actually put a pyre and Arduino behind it, but I kind of just ran out of time. Uh, this one here again. I lifted this from the the movie Moon. The, some of the some of the wording and stuff in, in the colors, and I found uh, a cool 1970s spaceship font that they used in Aliens. Uh, going further down, I yeah, have my lights that do nothing. One, two, and three. Every science fiction movie you see, everything in Mission Control you see, there's a lot panels of lights and switches just flashing and doing stuff, and you know they don't do anything. So um, I kind of came up with these at the end because I had a bunch of switches left over. I said, hey, I'll just put something together. Uh, people seem to like this one. You know, it's kind of one of the more interactive ones uh, on there. And this one, actually, I didn't, uh, it doesn't have anything printed on it. This one, I was kind of just running out of time. So it's just a, it's just a bare MDF that's painted. Uh, data plate, got to have a data plate on everything you do. The text itself is lifted from a couple different movies, Aliens, Star Trek, and whatnot. Um, again, I, again, I drew that in Corel Draw and everything. This one here was actually from an insurance ad, <laughs> or an investment banking ad or something. I liked it, just made it into a panel again, didn't do anything with the lights. Uh, on the bottom, and I detailed this in the instructable, this is act these are actually marbles that are silicone sealed in and Christmas bulbs uh, behind it. Um, there's an Arduino driving it, they're all wired up so there's four different patterns on each of these. and. Uh, this is a kind of a copy of a Burroughs B205 from see, movies like Time Tunnel and Batman and Lost in Space, the originals. Uh, that's where I lifted it from. That's from, that's from uh, Lost in Space. And then this is from uh, Buckaroo Bonsai, the Yo-Yo Dime Propulsion Company. This actually has two speeds. Again, you'll see the marbles run, run a little bit faster. Um, turn it back down. Marbles run a little bit slower. Uh, this one is actually, I got this from the uh, movie Alien in the self-destruct sequence. I found uh, uh, actually a page that went into details about where these fonts came from. And I was able to, to uh, you know, in Corel Drug and draw them out and put the buttons, you know, draw them out, put them in the lights and light it up. A lot of different, a lot of wires in this one. Each one of these has four wires on it. Uh, again, I was going to do more, but right now it just lights up. I'll talk about the button later. Again, this guy doesn't do anything. It's just lights with momentary switches. Uh, this guy here, off and on. Uh, this one doesn't do anything. Just uh, again, I found this one's actually off an F4 ECM panel or something that I kind of copied it from. Uh, no movie there. This guy, there's an Arduino driving these lights back here. Hydra, it's a reference to Agents of Shield, Marvel, Avengers, and these just these just light up. Again, I saw this on a. a on the web somewhere the design and I just uh, 
redrew it in uh, Corel Draw. It just took a long time to draw. This one here again doesn't do anything. Again, I had plans for it, but I ran out of time. This is actually a center console off a Ferrari F1 steering wheel. Um, a lot of examples on there. I thought it was pretty colorful, and I went ahead and did it. Um, oh, and then we'll get to yeah. Here to this. This is actually an infinity mirror. Um, I, I was gonna make all the controls work here again. It just has a couple. One of these controls the uh, colors. Turn it in here. This one controls the speed. I can speed it up, slow it down. Again, this guy. Eh, there we go. Yeah, it's misbehaving. Um, and again, if I switch it here, it'll just go solid. And it just rotates through uh, all the colors. These are the little addressable LEDs that Adafruit and a bunch of other people sell. And it, there's an Arduino behind it that drives it. I actually just used the uh, the software that came with it as, as a baseline. A great company. Um, and, and just used the sample and built off the sample. So for this guy here, the, the actual console, this is a... Uh, uh, Nine inch, nine inch diagonal screen I got off of eBay. There's a Raspberry Pi behind this. Again, this was just all cut from the MDF, you know, drew and Corel, draw and cut. And for these guys here, each one of these is a different channel. Push the button there. Let me turn it over. So again, I just came up with different references for movies, uh, things I liked, uh, Captain's Quarters. Just found different things I liked, little bits off of YouTube, and just copied them. Um, down on this panel here, got this guy here. You can put these guys on here. Each one of these is a reference from a different movie, where they're dropping a nuclear bomb or something like that. Uh, got Star Wars in this one. Doctor Strangelove. Oh, Doctor Strangelove, right at the end of the movie. This one from Aliens. I'd say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. No reference. I say we take reference from Dark Star here. Pretty obscure. Just turn this down. Uh, some creepy smoking guy I found off of uh, the web. I actually couldn't come up with something for that one, so I just stuck him in there. And then uh, yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, this one's like... Oh. Let's just put it back on this one, it's quiet. Again, this is an amplifier, got from Adafruit behind it, and then the rotary switch, each one's diff connected to a different GPIO. So when uh, I change it and push the button, I have it to read whatever GPIO is high or low, and then that's how I just know to change the movie. Uh, Want to go around the back side? Quite a big wiring mess. Again, I had to get this done very quickly. I was kind of running out of time. Raspberry Pi here that drives the uh, the monitor. This is an amplifier from Adafruit. Uh, first Arduino here is driving uh, driving one of the panels. The second Arduino here. Um, the third Arduino is down here. This drives the, the the lights there through the relay board. Again, the 3.3 volt power supply is there for the Christmas lights, a 12 volt power supply, which I, I ran out of it because of all the incandescent bulbs. I ran out of that one, so I had to add another PC power supply in there. And again, these are just all all USB power supplies that are driving the pies and, uh, and, and that. Oh yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.